Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Today. Let's go to our Bibles, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the famous chapter in 1 Corinthians. I want to pick up in verse 13 where Paul says this to us to start off our day. He says, so now faith, hope, and love abide these three, but the greatest of these is love. This thought concludes what we've um, known to be heralded in Scripture as the love chapter, right? Right. Paul is talking to us about the importance of love and how we show up in our relationships and how we show up for the gospel, that love, as one scholar put it, is the supreme ethic. Get that in your spirit this morning. Love is the supreme ethic. So much so that Paul kind of goes through it saying, hey, if I have the tongues of men and angels, but have not love, I sound like a sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. If I have prophetic prophetic knowledge and powers, but have not love. He says, it's just uh, a, 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 a waste of time. If I have knowledge so so far and have faith that I can remove mountains, but have not love, he says, I am nothing. The point is this, um, you can bring the most amazing of resources and gifts and talents to the table. But Paul is reminding us in scripture that if you don't bring love with those gifts, you're actually moving backwards, not forwards. Who am I talking to today? There are a lot of you watching this morning and perhaps one of the reasons why you haven't been able to leverage your influence or you haven't been successful in certain kinds of pursuits is not because you're not smart enough, not because you're not impressive, not because you don't have strengths or gifts or talents or know-how. It could be that the reason that those doors aren't opening for you is that you're not unlocking those doors with the key of love. Love matters is what Paul is saying. So I want to just, I just want to encourage you to think about how you've been showing up in your relationship. Um, with your kids, with your parents or family members, with your spouse, with your coworkers. And I want you to look back at some of those places and interactions that haven't gone well and ask yourself, huh, was I as loving as I could have been or should have been? And could that have something to do as to why those doors keep getting slammed in my face? I want you to think about your relationships like you think about your living room. It's always better with a love seat. (laughs) And what does it mean for you to bring the love seat into the living room of your conversations and relationships today? Don't forget about love. That's all for today. I'll see y'all next time.